Hello everybody, welcome back to our Final Fantasy X HD Platinum walkthrough. Um, like to hear a bit about the one here's Macon. We're, we're at the Moonflow, we're gonna... Did I say no story? Very no. Well. Yeah, we're gonna hear all about the Moonflow, and I'm eating chocolate cake. We do not so, know about the shoe just listen to Macon. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. The water it sucks through its schmars somehow supports its considerable size. Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. Okay. This video is mostly cutscenes. There's a boss fight, though. So that's cool. Riding a shoe puff isn't There's no that editing, much though. fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. It's true. Right? I'm still in nappies. But anyway. Let the driver some gill there behind me. The merchants here are wily. Pick your shop well. There are a lot of merchants here. They mostly sell different stuff. And no one's really ripping you off. So if you want something, buy it. And buy it, you know. This cake is bad, but I'm eating it anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I was running around like an idiot. Oh, I paused as well. What was I doing? I'm gonna have to edit this out. Oh, no, we're back. I'll leave it in. Someone must have texted me or something. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm -mm -mm. Cake, cake, cake. Rides a shoe puff? Rides a shoe puff? Yes, please. On Happy birthday. Okay, we're riding the shoe puff. Moving on with our adventure. I finished the cake. It was nice. I said it was bad, but I was lying. Didn't want to make you jealous, that's all. Go take a sip of water, though, because cake makes me thirsty. <laughs> so you see, we're heading to the North Bank. That's good. There's really not much going on here, so. What? We get some backstory. I won't even talk over it. Whoa! I'll be boring. A sunken city. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm? I'm not Walker so sure about that. Walker likes his theories, but I, I think he's full the of shit. has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Shut up, Waka. Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which Machina we may use and which we may not. So what kind of Machina oh, may we not use then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? What is it good for? More than for? a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using Machina. Oh. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. 
They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The whole the world. The people feared that Spira would Kaboom. be destroyed. But the war did not stop. What, what happened then? Sin came and it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended and our reward was sin. So, yep. sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Okay. Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the Machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because Just like people Pokemon. Like bed screwing everything up. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Watch no. I guess not. It's afterwards. There's a great line soon. But here we go. Sit down. Sorry. Sit down. Ah. Jeez, you know, should have sat down. Yuna's been kidnapped by the Albed. That's fine. So this boss is the Extractor. It's very, very easy, don't worry. He's got 4,000 hit points, you need to do 600 damage to overkill him. So if you have an overdrive, save it for the end of the battle. I didn't have a sensor weapon here, so I think I had to just play it by ear. But you'll manage, don't worry. Uh, I've got two overdrives, so... Feel free to open with one. Um, I would make sure to get haste on both characters, though. You're gonna want that. Easy as he is, there's no reason not to make it even easier. So here we go. This is main attack. I wouldn't worry about it. <coughs> so we do slots. Obviously, he's a machina, so you want to try and get lightning, um, which I think I actually get this time. There we go, my first successful slots. Not fully successful, but still. There's only one enemy here, so it doesn't matter. So there we go, that's 1300 damage right off the bat. Remember, he's only got 4000. So there we go. Aqua Shooter again. This move is really non threatening. So, just way on. I do have a sensor weapon, that's fine, so I actually can't tell this fine. I equipped Waka with a lightning ball before this fight started. I should have mentioned that, but I forgot to. So, <laughs> yeah. It's not necessary. He'll do about 100 extra damage per hit, so it, it's nice. It's not a major advantage. Uh, readying depth charges. So this is the only part where he's dangerous. Um, this It does a fair bit of damage, but he's dead. So if you use haste, you're going to take it out, no problem. There we go, got the overkill. Save an overdrive to get the overkill. You're smart. There we go, that's the extractor. No problem. Um, I'm actually going to put an annotation at the start of the video. Tell you to equip any lightning weapons if you have them, because I should have mentioned it. It does make things a little bit easier, so why not? Just have to uh, remind myself to do that. I will forget. I'll write it down on my arm. Um, notation. Lightning. I'll draw a lightning bolt. Are you hurt? Zap. Okay. Uh, no, I'm That's fine. fine. Oh. Oh. Those out bed. This line. Ish, everybody oh okay? no, not yet. It's soon. It's I'm soon. Sorry. We're all okay I'm losing now. it, man. Yuna. Uh, Sit your ass down, girl. Ahead. Okay. Full speed ahead. Woodly boodly boo. Maybe he said it already. Oh no. What do they want from us? Could it have something to do with Luca? What are they after Yuna for? Wait. They're mad. They lost the tournament. Oh wait! They're mad about Operation Meehan! I wonder... Didn't Kamari's clansmen say something? About summoners disappearing? Ah, so the Albeda behind that? Yeah. Those sandblasted grease monkeys! That's great. I mean, that's... That's racist. Like, I love Waka. Ugh. Hey, Waka! 
It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? Don't forget. We'll you know it's half owl bed, but Waki doesn't know. It's that easy. Steed is trying That's to be like to know. political about it. Well, I guess so. You're right. <laughs> so she mouths, thank you all. Mm. Comes up in the subtitles in brackets. Don't know why, to be honest. <laughs> actually, if subtitles are there for the hard of hearing, but she didn't actually say anything. Well, whatever. Kimari should learn to swim. So, uh, there's quite a few guado around here. And you'll see why shortly. Might be more out bed. Keep watch, yeah? But here we are on the north bank. So, uh, Waka and Titus got some sphere grid going on after that fight, which is nice. So Waka can get some magic. Ooh, won't be using that. Oh well, but anyway. Let's head out on the dusty road. Actually, there's Albed Primer number 12, I want to say. I want to say 12. Up that ramp. I'll go pick it up. I talk to Kowaka. I think he has the same shit he had in the other bank. No, he's just got items here. But, let's buy a few Echo Screens. Try to keep maybe five of each item like that. So you never know. You never know when you're going to need them. Later on, you'll be buying in bulk for. Uh, armor customization, but right now I wouldn't worry about it. So there's the Albed Primer. Very nice. Uh, what am I doing? Just making sure I didn't miss any. Yeah, there we go. We got 1 through 12. Perfect. I get paranoid sometimes. Guardiuna. Alright, Guardiuna. Good advice. More Guado. This is probably the first close-up look at some proper guado we've gotten. Um, I'm gonna sign this chick here. I believe she's a good goalkeeper. I can't remember. I think I read that she's a decent goalkeeper. Uh, the best best goalkeeper is now bed called Nimrock. But we can't get him for a long time. So, just in case I decide to start playing some blitzball. I probably won't until much later in the game. But We'll sign her anyway, like we signed the guy on the Mihin High Road. I should have signed the guy in Luca as well, but I forgot. It doesn't matter anymore. <clears throat> we'll get by. So out here, it's uh, somebody knocked out. I recognize those clothes. You're not dead? Uh, uh? Oh. Here we go with a little strip tease going on. She's 15, you sick fucks. Keep it in your pants. This is Riku. You remember the girl from the boat earlier on. She's the one who was piloting the extractor and tried to steal you. But that's cool. We're all friends here. So. She's back in the party now. So we we've got our full yeah, party, our full so complement. What happened? Just pretty good. You beat me up, remember? Huh? Oh, that Machina? That was you? So there you go. That was her. Mm -hmm. Oh. I like to beat up really cute girls as well. Know. Just wander around the street. You big meanie. See a cute girl, give her a slap. W they wait, deserve it, man. But you attacked us. But anyway. Nuh-uh. It's not exactly what you think. Then what is it? Not too late, here's Waka. Now, Waka luckily is a slow bastard, and you didn't notice. Uh, and so, uh, you could okay. say that. Please he hates Albed, but he doesn't know she's Albed. Even though Albed has spirally know? eyeballs. I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's an Albed. <laughs> <sighs> Like, oh. even with that, wow, so you Waka like doesn't understand. All your life. What luck but, meeting here, yeah? Richard. Praise be to Yevon. Who's a sandblasted grease monkey now, huh? So 
off his brain. Huh. Funnily enough, Waka Bear is now offline. Waka Bear is a chap I know. I believe his there's something we His name is a reference to Fozzy Bear. Oh, waka boy, Waka Waka. Catchphrase. Girls Nothing to do with Waka here. Boys, please wait over there. But uh amuse right. me there. Sorry, Waka. Talking about waka. That's fun. Huh? Anyway. What? So we're all pals now. The girls are going off to talk about periods and bras, and that's fine. Um <sighs> No boys allowed. Natural. And Orin is in charge of everything, like even though Riku it should be Eunice's call, I guess, but who knows. Show me your face. Orin's got the experience, huh? I guess. Look at me. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. Look at me, Kyle. There you go, spiralized. Kinda of cool, As huh? I, thought. I think it's cool. Um, I wonder how okay. they see. Anyway, whatever. Are you certain? Hundred percent. This so, conversation I'm is also, I think, it's, I think it's just badly translated. Are you certain? One hundred percent. What? Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mhm. Mm yippee yippee. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. I walk it goes from <laughs> to the more the merrier. I don't get it. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed, Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. So anyway, whatever. We got Riku with us now. Full party. That's a trophy. Um. Now Riku has some special stuff in battles, which. Only happen on this stretch of road and in one endgame dungeon. But there are some treasure chests that pop up in battles, and if you steal from them, you get whatever you inside. So, yeah. Great. So, you know, steal. Get some bomb cores. Yahoo! And there's a. a dude. Now, Riku has joined us, but she hasn't moved anywhere on her server, so she's very weak at the moment. Uh, we'll be a little bit into the next area, and she'll catch up. She catches up very quickly, she has a lot of HP nodes at the start of her thing, but, you know, you gotta be careful with her at first, she's very fragile. She's never particularly, like, she'll never be a tank, but, you know, she holds her own. She's one of your principal damage dealers, actually, because of her items and stuff. Like, she can wreck some bosses. I showed you that earlier on in the game. She, uh, was instrumental in overkilling a couple of bosses early on. And she will be again, I think. If my strategies hold up, and I think they will. But, uh, yeah, she's a, a key component of any endgame party, because she's very strong. There are mix overdrives. So there's a regular treasure chest with some antidotes. So she's also just got basic equipment with nothing special going on. So I might buy her some equipment, but uh, for now I'm just gonna up her HP a little bit because I can. Now over there is Pilfer Gill, but that's behind some level four blocks, so that's late game. It does what you think it does. Let's just steal Gill. Uh, copycat. I believe is like mine from Final Fantasy VII, it just copies whatever the last action was. Can be handy. That was a level 1 sphere. There's a couple of level 1 spheres and then a level 4 sphere. I think I actually stopped trying to go that way because I needed the help. But that'll be in a later video. Because that's the end.